Hey, what's going on, friends? I finally got myself a set of real binos, okay? And when I say real, I mean I have purchased a brand new set of binoculars for the first time in my life. I'm super excited. Of course, you can see the well-known name of Vortex. And this is the Diamondback HD series. These are the 10 by 42s, and I'm really excited to open these on camera and see what's in the box. So I've been wanting a set of binoculars for a really long time. I've only ever used a very, very small set of throwaway type binoculars, eight by 21s. I couldn't even look through them with both eyes because it just didn't work. I had to use them basically as a monocular. And so doing my research, of course, I came across Vortex and the other very prevalent name was Leupold. They both have, of course, this 10 by 42 binocular. This is kind of like that middle ground between the you know 12 buys and the eight buys, you got the 10 buys. And so looking at the options from Vortex, we have their Crossfire set, which is like their beginner set, the very bottom of the line there. And then you step it up one notch to the Diamondback. And I want to say it's about a hundred dollars difference in step up in price. Don't quote me on that, but it was something around that. Now the same sort of thing exists with the Leupold options. Um, they are very similarly priced. The Leupold version, I believe, uh, that kind of is, equates to this is called the Alpine HD and they are very, very similar in price, if not the same. So I had a choice to make. Now, of course, I know Leupold makes amazing stuff, as does Vortex. And I'm just going six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. And I did see a bunch of reviews. I read a bunch of reviews. And what it came down to for me, although I wanted the very, very best glass, and there were a few reviews that reviewed both this Diamondback 10 by 42 versus the Leupold. Some say the Leupold was better. Some say the Vortex Diamondback was better. Um, and so I came down to essentially the warranty. The warranty on the Diamondback seems to be bulletproof. Seems to be one of those warranties, the no questions asked type of warranty. I did get a chance to look through these, this exact set, before I purchased them. So that was very good. And I was really, really surprised and impressed by what I saw through these binoculars. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox these and see what comes in this brand spanking new box. So right away, we can see that uh, iconic brown khaki color Vortex case there. This is a uh, very good looking case and a lot of people um, say that this case is very useful and very well built. Stoked about that. Okay, we'll set those aside for a second and we'll look at what else is in the box. This is called the glass pack, I guess. This, that's the name of this bag here for the binos. This little card here kind of tells you how to, you know, put them in there and, and set it up as a kind of chest bag there. Then we have our little user manual. So I'll go ahead and look through that at some point. And this is cool. I didn't know that they came with a neck strap. I guess that makes sense. I just, I don't know. I just didn't think about it. So a neck strap included. That's good. And this looks like the harness situation for this glass pack. And by the way, I'm going to be making a video. So be sure if you're interested in these, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified for my next video, because I'm not only gonna unbox these, but after this, I'm gonna do another video actually looking through these compared with the cheap throwaway 8x21s that I have, just so you can see a difference in the overall size of the picture and the clarity of the picture. All right, let's open these up. Opening it up, we can see a, uh, looks like a microfiber type of like little lens cleaning cloth. Pull out the binos, nothing else in the case there. It's padded. It's got a couple of pockets on the side. The store that I bought these from is very cool. It's a small local shop, been around forever. And uh, I called them up and said, hey man, I'm looking at a set of binos. Do you happen to have the loophole? Do you happen to have the Vortex? He basically told me that yes, he had the Vortex, but not the loophole on hand. So I asked him if I could come down and take a peek through them. He said, yeah, he opened them up, let me look through them and these are the exact ones I bought. So super stoked. Uh, they are very, very, I would say compact. I, I was gonna say small, but they're not small. 
but they're definitely not large. They don't feel too big. They feel, you know, like they're just the perfect size to not have a giant set of binoculars, um, but not have a tiny set of binoculars. This just seems like a really, really good size of binos here. Now on the end, we have these little rubberized cups that protect the glass there. And uh, that's, that's awesome. I like seeing that. I like having those. You always have to protect that glass because you just don't know what's gonna come into contact with it. Um, on the back here, same thing. You have this removable uh, kind of rubberized cover, same thing as the front. You can see the loops here on the sides of the eye cups, and these are for your neck strap, I believe, just so you can have those kind of hanging off of your neck when you're not needing them. I do love the color of these. It's a very deep green. Um, I would definitely say it's darker than like an olive drab. It's like a, it's like a deep forest green, rubberized, and moving them you know, in and out in terms of the width, it's, it's very tight. That feels good. The eye cups do have uh, little detents in there that stop you kind of there and there. So I think that's it. So you have two, two kind of clickable positions there for the eye cups, which is pretty good. Now, I definitely don't know all the lingo yet. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this little ring is called, but I do know that this ring is for focusing because you're supposed to focus with one eye and I'll definitely look into all that and make sure that I'm doing everything correctly. But today I just wanted to get these on camera so that I can start using them and getting used to them. And then we can make a full review video, including some uh, footage looking through these, hopefully. All right, so this big knob right in the center here is where you're gonna actually focus. I know that day that I got to look through these and I was you know, racking the focus just to kind of see how that felt and what that looked like. I was impressed with how smooth that was and how easy it was to gain and obtain focus. So that's pretty awesome. So these are them, guys. The Vortex Diamondback 10 by 42. Now, of course, there's other options. There's the eight buys, the 12 buys. The thing for me was, like I said, I have a pair of eight by 21s that are just throwaway binos. And while the eight by is good, a lot of people say the eight by is all you need. I just wanted a little more reach. There was so many times when I just wish I had a little more reach. Now, of course, those binoculars were absolute garbage, but uh, I just, I know that I needed a little bit more reach. I know 12 by was gonna be way too much. And I thought, you know what? Why don't we go middle of the road and go 10 by? So 10 by 42, it was an easy choice. And these have really, really amazing reviews. And part of the reason why I bought them was, was because of that. Part of the reason was because it was right in that kind of price point that I wanted. Um, and also, like I said, that warranty. Uh, I do wish that I had the loopholes to compare them side by side. I'm sure they're built probably very, very similar. It, it basically boiled down to, hey, you know what? This is what's in stock. This is what's right in front of me. This is what you know, has a really great warranty that's, you know, basically indisputable. Everybody knows the Vortex warranty. And I thought, you know what? These are the ones. So this is what I picked up. The Vortex Diamondback 10 by 42s. Look at those. They are a really good looking set of binoculars. There's that front glass. And of course, these are all fully multi-coated, argon purged, all that good stuff shockproof, weatherproof, and you know, all the, the whole nine yards. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first look, this unboxing of this brand spanking new set of Vortex Diamondback 10 by 42s. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And also, if you've watched this far and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I'm Jimmy for the General Expert channel here on YouTube, and I will hopefully see you in the next one.